Hi, this is Carol Springer from Gabriel Sales. And right now I'm just going to show you a quick video here on the difference between Pardot Lightning and Pardot Classic and how you know where you are. So if we go into Salesforce right now, um, there I have what we call a Pardot Lightning app. So typically you might be in a sales console, a marketing app. And again, everything in this waffle is called, these are all called apps. You can view all, and these are all different apps in the system. And a lot of companies will have a Pardot app, and so you'll go there. And then you, you see all these headers here. These are the navigation items. And again, in Salesforce, all these items are called objects. An account is an object, an opportunity is an object. Um, Pardot's not really an object. Pardot is a navigation. Um, in to help you get to Pardot Classic. So this, I'm right now in the Pardot Classic app, and you can tell because this looks like Pardot Classic here. My settings are over here. I go to my prospect list right here. Um, I can go to my home page. You know, this is what your classic home page looks like. So this is what a lot of people are used to but I am inside of Salesforce. So this is accessing Pardot through a Salesforce iframe to, to Pardot Classic, okay? And if I wanna go to Pardot Lightning, which you're gonna to wanna to learn to do because a lot of the new features are coming into the Lightning app, it does require that you have a regular um, Salesforce license. You can't just have an identity license. So an identity license will get you into Pardot Classic here, um, and then you need the Pardot Lightning app um, to get into Pardot Lightning. So you'll see now I'm still in the Salesforce iframe, but now I'm not, I'm still in Salesforce URL up here, um, but I'm no longer um, in the iframe. These are all navs take me to different Pardot activity. So now I go to Pardot settings. Instead of going to the little like gear like you do in classic, the settings are right here. Uh, Pardot email. This is we typically you go to marketing email. And so we have the templates here, emails that I were sent, tests, etc. My content would be my forms and my landing pages. So you'll still get all access to all the assets and the activity and the prospects and there'll be some additional features so um, just takes a little getting used to you know segmentation lists i go into all my lists and i have to i can see them here i don't have quite as much real estate um so some people you know that's why they might want to stick to part of classic here emails uh, segmentation lists you see now it starts with PI. So now again, you know I'm in the Pardot Classic uh, versus over here. If I want to go into lists, I kind of lose a little space. And so I don't have as much space right here. So that is the difference. Um, and sometimes, um, again, when we go into these apps, when you get out of the box and get Pardot Lightning turned on, this a lot of times it just says Pardot, and this is Pardot. So it's hard to tell the difference. Um, this one will always say B2B Marketing Automation, or out of the box it will. Um, sometimes I edit this and I change it to say Pardot Lightning like I did here. So it's very clear this app will get me into the Pardot Lightning. <clears throat> Thank you for listening. Have a great day.